Hi friends, welcome to Aisha's DIY. This is a macrame bracelet um, project and I have here some cute beads um, that I bought from Mercari but they are pretty consistent shape I think. They have big holes. So I have some. You don't need a lot. But you need a lot of Chinese knotting cord. I'm using Chinese knotting cord. You can also use um, waxed linen. Um, this is 0.8 mm thickness and it's from bb craft this pole was um, from bb craft and then um, so i cut here about two feet of uh, cord i cut two feet cord three lengths and then i cut four feet cord six lengths okay i have four feet cord six lengths and uh, um, two feet cord three lengths so let's just take the four feet cord two of the two of the four feet cord and one of the two feet cord so take those and then let's just get started we need scissors a pair of scissors a ruler for you to measure and also um, we need a macrame bow or um, you can have a, a naughty do it all or you can tape it to the surface of your table and then you can do it that way anything is okay and also we need a lighter so that's all the supplies that we need and then let's just cut get started i will keep my Take stuff the other and two cords and do the same about one third of the cord uh this is the one third distance of the four feet and the two feet now what i do is i just tie an overhand knot with all three cords together just like so and this is my macrame what i shifted it uh in the back side and I just slip this knot right here and all these cords on the side and then take this cord right and then I slipped it in the backwards because it's plain and you can see and now find the cord which is smaller which is right here in the middle and then we can load our beads so I need um, five beads it's totally up to you how many beads you want and how many of the knots you put it's all a uh, very flexible uh, detail this has big enough holes so i'm just slipping it on top right um, just like that but if you have a smaller hole then you can burn this edges with your lighter and then thread all the beads now i have five beads and i'm going to stick this end into the screw and then I need a little bit of uh, height to do all my knots so there you go I will have these two cords in start my macrame square knots the P's and the Q's first time doing a Q you guys always know that's just my preference you can start with a P or a Q whichever you want just like that and then do a cons consecutive P and then two more knots so one knot has one P and Q as you guys already know so I'm making two of the square knots and then um, also if you are not aware of how to make square knots you can go ahead and watch my tutorial on basic macrame knots and then you will get an idea it's pretty easy now I am just going to go ahead and um, and push one bead right here and then do my knots just like regularly so wherever the bump is that's where we form our loop and 
so i have taken a chord which is contrast to the beat for the macrame part but if you like the similar one then you can have it so so i'm going to make three square knots in between the bead so it's one and a half that's two two and a half and then push one bead up on the top and then start your knots that's one two You can also find how many knots you have made by the bumps on its side. That's one, two, and finally three. There we go. Now I'm ready to push another bead. So the number of knots between those beads is also totally an optional thing. You can do more or less depending upon what look you want I'll show you guys the entire bracelet and decide for yourself how you would like to proceed so instead of this cube beads you can use six or square beads six or seed beads or eight or seed beads even they will fit comfortably on the 0.8 millimeter thickness Chinese nodding cord you can also use Eslon, Ceylon, um, the regular Ceylon and Eslon um, or you can use one millimeter thickness if you prefer to but since I'm doing three strand I would prefer the thinner Y a thinner cord than the thicker one so now I'm ready to pop in another bead right here and then do my square knots it's so macrame is so relaxing as I always say it's really my go-to and then like it's basically just knots you know knots and cord and it's like if you want an organic you can use the cotton uh, wax linen so but i really like the chinese knotting cord because it can be melted you don't have to glue it um so that's why i use chinese knotting cord a lot it's very forgiving even if you make a knot mistake by mistake you can take it off easily and then do it again and this color combo also is very pretty in my opinion the blue and the tan looks really good So this is not my own uh, project I searched online and then I found it I really liked it I like how versatile this can be with any bead you want as long as the bead fits through this 8.8 millimeter thickness uh, Chinese knotting cord we have finished the center part um, one two three four five and I did three knots and I do two more knots or a couple more knots how much ever you want I would say five knots this is four and this is five okay um, then what I will do is I will do three um, sets exactly like this so I will take this up okay and
take the overhand knot secure everything in place we are going to two, do two more knots on this side as well right so I'm just going to secure the center cord and then tie that's one and two knots so I'm going to do a couple more four and five <coughs> with the other cords that we have cut I'll make three exactly like this and I will come back so now we will I have my three aligned properly so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the short strand in every <coughs> actually not the short strand let me see So let's just cut one of the strand, right? Let's cut this one right here. Take your lighter and burn it. So that that's nice and secure. There we go. We have two quarts here. Then you can cut one here too. and then one from here okay so let's take our lighter and burn it now we are all set we have only six cords here what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this first two cord okay hold it like that do a half inch knot so this is my holding cord the one towards my right is my holding cord i bring that here then take the next cord and do a half inch knot one and then just leave it down take the next cord in the line and do a half inch knot two half inch knots double half inch knots right we normally make double we don't make just one knot and then one more while doing that make sure that it doesn't get loose okay and leave these three on the side now concentrate on this side the leftmost cord um, will become the holding cord and then the next will be the knotting cord so go over under and pull through just like so um, this is very wobbly so what I would do is I would take some pins and just hold it on there 
so that it doesn't move much right the next one take the next chord and do that take the next chord and do a double half hitch knot that is one and that's two okay making sure there we go so these three chords and these three chords now take the middle chord which is right here and do a double half hitch knot one and two there we go I am just making sure the knot is proper see how the V we got let me zoom in a little bit more for you guys so now I'm going to do the same thing again take my rightmost chord and keep it as a holding chord take the next chord and then do a half inch knot that's one and double half inch knot then take the next one and do one and two so leave that that side take this one the leftmost card and do a double half inch there Take the next one and do a double half hitch. If you are not familiar with the half hitch knots, go to my channel. I have the basic macrame square knot, square knots and basic macrame knots in one video. Go ahead and watch those. And this one is crisscross. And then again, do one more double half hitch. see tighten that up there we go that's done now what we can do is we can take these two cords and in the center and these two cords on the side and do double sorry square knots with two cords two cords in the middle two cords on the left and the right so all you need to do is secure this somehow in a slot and then just to give it some height have this and then start making square knots so here we go that's one sorry about that that was my daughter so here we go square knot okay and how much of our square knots you want because um that's going to be our length that affects the length of our bracelet as well we are going to do a couple of square knots and i'm going to switch to the other side and see how long it is because we need our sliding clasp as well so
nice and tight square knots the cues and the piece this is a technique which is very useful for so many different things so if you didn't learn the macrame square knots you're missing out something in jewelry making that much i can say it's it's a very very helpful trick to learn plus you can have a bracelet with just sliding knot put us on a cord or something so that you don't have to know the wrist size of the person whom you are making because it's all adjustable right so we will use that for that as well I will turn my board now what I will do is um, take these uh, cords and do the same thing that I did that side so I will cut one um, one cord in every uh, every set and then I will go ahead and do two rows of uh, double half inch knots and then continue doing the square knots so here I'm gonna take everything nice and tight and so I'm also going to check if everything is perfect so here we go I just snip this off and this one off and this one off just like so so all three cords and then take my lighter and cinch all of these I want that to be smooth that's why I did it again be careful you can't burn it if you burn it just be careful and switch it off immediately it's not safe for your environment um, so now what I do is spin this down so it's easier for me to do the rest take the outermost cord right so if you keep it like this it should come properly this one maybe take this cord and then do double half inch knots right just like so and then leave it down take the next cord which will be from the center and do a double half inch knot see how it goes just make sure that it's nice and tight one more no 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 I actually I did three so with Chinese knotting cord it's easy really easy to take it off if you make a mistake see this take my tweezers or pliers or you can use a bead all if you want anything sharp will do okay. so 
we did with both so leave these and now let's concentrate on this side on the left hand side do the same take the leftmost cord keep it as a holding cord and do the double half inch knot with the next one that's one that's two take the next one and do the same that's one and see this I have to tighten that up nicely and neatly and bring these two together So we are connecting all of them in a V-shape. There we go. So now do the same. Take the rightmost cord keep it on the side go over and do one and two that's one double half inch take the next one do the same one and two so you always do double half inch because one half inch will not make sense so leave these three on this side take the other side do the double half inch take the next core and do the same Let's do it in the center. See this? Sometimes this will have a line so we can align that. So this is what we have so far. So what I'm going to do is take these two cords, outer two cords, and the center cord. Keep it down. Just reposition everything right here. So now is a good time to actually measure our project. So here it is. From end to end it's four and a half. So it's just going to be one more. So five and a half. So we need a long way. So we can make more square knots. Just keep something on top so it's easy for you to make the square knots with two two cords. Two cords on the left, two cords on the right, and two cords in the middle. Right? There we go. I'm going to make square knots as much as I can. And 
and five and a half so six and a half so two inches of square knots on either side will do then I'll come back for the sliding knot so now what I do is I put 10 square knots that is 1 P and Q consists of one square knot I put 10 square knots on either side then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the center cord and leave it and take the side once and cut it off so we would need a little bit for the sliding knot so here we go on the other side take these off now take your lighter melt those away if it's not melted properly go ahead and do it once more and give it a good press just like so let's do it on the other side now this is what we have so far all we need to do is crisscross this and keep it parallel and then do a sliding knot right here so i have set this up on my knotty do it all because that's easier for me to do that and i have a 10 inch piece of the same cord which we cut down actually it's a lot of cord which is left over i would say um, make three two feet cords and make um, um, six uh, six three feet cords four feet is a little bit too much I think but I don't know because this one right here is perfect it is not like and which cord comes that's absolutely a gamble so uh, if you are not like me who saves the cord and uses it for um, other purposes like if I'm doing a sliding knot I use it I save a bunch of cords which is in different colors and different sizes and I use it for sliding knots and I use it for to try out some new pattern so if you do that then it will be very useful otherwise you might consider it to be a waste so I'm doing square knots So a couple of square knots is good enough and also there is one more thing that you need to check is the length of the bracelet which is slip it around your wrist and hold these two ends there we go we can do a little bit more is what I'm thinking slip it back again and then 
how much ever you have caught I think you can do it we need our bracelet to fully cover our wrist right it's okay if it doesn't cover also that's also fine totally fine it's just cord um, we have done designs like that so that's not a problem but if you want it to be completely covered by knots then do a couple more square knots and call it a day there we go this is what I'm talking about if you do learn the square knots it's pretty easy to do this so the one more trick if it is short use your pliers to hold on just like so and then what you can do is snap off this don't snap off very close because you need something to melt and secure now these two cord ends right so just making sure everything is correct so let's take this off and consider what we have to do here so what I'm going to do is take the cord add a bead tie a knot where you want to tie a knot I don't want this to be um, two and a half inches or more let me take a ruler so it's three inches exactly at three inches you can stop that's how much we need we don't need see it's already three and a half so I will just reduce that so you can also do one more thing instead of having two two beads I prefer to actually have one bead on both strand if possible you put both the strand on the same bead so put one bead hold it like this and try the next one it won't work I will melt the end and try and show you guys how I did you it. melt the ends together you will get like a needle kind of a thing and then you can pop in the bead on both the strands then bring it all the way here see the other end I have snipped off only this much of the cord which is going to trash but this side I have quite a lot like around say 8 inches or so so there we go take the cord and make an overhand knot and keep it right there straighten that out a bit and just hold it right here and hold the 3 inch marker right there right? and then bring the knot towards the marker and let it go and tighten that up and snip this off leaving a short tail see it's a little bit left melt it nicely and that's it our bracelet is done and it's a statement bracelet it is very pretty I really like the color combination a lot 
and you can also stack these bracelets with other bracelet I have a I have a, a, what to say an elastic bracelet right here it kind of stacks pretty well with that I really like the way it turned out to be if you do like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification I do upload a couple of uh, videos a week thanks so much for watching have a good day and bye